you must be so thrilled with the way it's turned out. Yeah. Yeah, we are. We're happy to be here yeah. at the at the end of the road and getting it out to the world for sure. Yes, we survived. <laughs> Woo. Uh -huh. like it's the thing that always kind of amazes me with animation is just how long the process is. And so it's <laughs> like, is it a relief that it's finished or is it kind of hard to let it go now? Uh, like both, both right? Yeah. Like I feel like we were almost tweaking it up until the last minute, <laughs> like in the sound mix. I was like, oh, like maybe that crunching sound could be a little bit louder. <laughs> Not quite ready to finish Not up all the notes. Yeah. yeah, and even after we had the rap party where we showed the movie to the whole crew, like I, I still had like little tweaky sound notes at the end. I was like, uh, <laughs> could this bass be boosted a little bit more? Let it go. Yeah, let it go. Let it go. <laughs> no, but it is, it is a weird feeling of it's like, you know, it's like raising a child for four years. You're like, I'm really proud and excited to let mm -hmm. you go, but at the same time, I miss you terribly. Yeah. I'm not ready. I'm not ready to let it go. So yeah. it always kind of feels this bittersweet mm -hmm. uh, sense at the end. Totally. I mean, it must be exciting, though, that it is kind of out in the world, and people are gonna just you know get to get a, you know, people who are people who are gonna get to see who didn't make the thing. Yes. Oh, that's gonna be yeah. quite an exciting feeling for you. So. Tonight is, I think, tonight is gonna be the first time we will watch it with anybody like outside, outside of, the studio. of the studio. So yeah, it's a little nerve wracking at the same time. It's like, please laugh, please laugh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and especially given the fact that we made uh, made it primarily from home, we actually haven't watched it. That much. Even we normally watch it with our internal audiences all the time at Pixar, and you can hear people laughing, or you know, you can hear an audience reaction. We've only watched it with one audience, and that's been at the wrap party at Pixar, where mm -hmm. we watched it with our crew, and that's it. Yeah. So this is literally the first time. Usually by now we will have watched it multiple times a bunch yep. with a bunch of audience, but not so much. This will be our first one today, so it's exciting. Yep. And terrifying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Something to look forward to, though, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. But so you touched there on you know, like making most of the movie from home. Like, how, what was that experience like? Obviously, this is not how you would expect to be making a movie <laughs> in like these current circumstances. So, just how did like how did you kind of adjust to that process? I guess. Yeah. Oh, uh, it was yeah. It was hard at first. Like we all had mm -hmm. to basically just take our la our laptops, our equipment. Uh, our, our ergonomic office chairs and just like literally from our offices <laughs> and like load it up in the back of our cars and uh, yeah, just completely switch everybody to like a work from home setup. Uh, it was awkward at first, like Zoom meetings, um, everyone's internet was like yeah. inconsistent. Uh, animation reviews were super tricky for me because you know like normally we'd be in like a, a screening room with the animators all in the room and if I wanted to give a note on an expression or an, an, an like an acting idea I would just like stand up and do it um, but it was very hard to kind of do that from your your zoom screen I had to like make sure everyone could see me um, dr draw overs were a little bit tricky at first to like adapt to so that's like when I want to do like a like a note for an animator and I want to like redraw or like you know like like repose like a, like like a facial expression or a gesture like beforehand it'd be really easy <laughs> just to like draw it on the Cintiq monitor but um over you, Zoom, it's like yeah. a little harder. Usually, just a little bit harder. usually directors can hide in the dark. You know yeah. what I mean? We're sitting in dark rooms and everybody's facing a screen, and so what what they're feeling or how they're feeling about a shot is kind of hidden. Yeah. Nobody can really nobody's staring at their face. On Zoom, literally everyone is staring at Domi's face as <laughs> she's watching a shot to be like, does she like it? Does she not? And so I think you had to over time be like, I have to check my expression. You know, oh, make sure yeah. that I'm not like going like. Yeah, oh, no. <laughs> like I'm not making like a stank face. Yeah, or anything. it I'm was just processing. It's, it's <laughs> a lot of eyes like just staring directly uh, at Domi, which is not a normal, not a normal way that directors are interacting with the crew for sure. Yep. <laughs> and I guess kind of like taking it back to the whole kind of audience thing from kind of early on. How are you hoping that audiences respond to the movie? Like, what do you hope that they take away from it? Yeah, uh, my hope is that, you know, when audiences watch it and uh, that, uh, you know, the movie gives them kind of this permission to embrace that messy, wild, uh, you know, uh, hairy <laughs> inner beast of, of, of themselves, uh, that they kind of embrace the, the messiness of 
of life, of of the, the imperfections of life, yeah. kind of like how May does in the movie, and uh, just know that you know, growing up and 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 life is is not black and white, and there's like lots of messy parts, and there's conflict, but that all of that is is normal and and okay. I think it's a message both for parents and for kids that perfection just isn't the goal. You know, like it to let that kind of go as a goal. Um, and it's also, I love the fact that it, it makes a point of reminding kids that their parents were kids too, that they are they were going through all the same mm-hmm. stuff. And I think it's really easy to forget that both as a parent and as a kid. Mm-hmm. 